Hi everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome to the final episode of Batman the Telltale Series coming up tonight. Episode 5 of City of Light. The battle for control of Gotham intensifies, reaching a favoured pitch as Bruce discovers a renewed sense of purpose and Batman finds himself pushed to the limits in a desperate effort to restore order. It's going to be amazing, I have no idea how this is going to go, so without any more stalling, let's begin! Previously on Batman the Telltale Series. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. So where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What did you do? I destroyed Lady Arkham's drugs. The innocent people were a small price to pay. Ah! Oh, oh, you psycho! Now you can do whatever you want to me. The Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. God damn it, my home's on fire! We had this split decision, go to Wayne Enterprises and get our tech under control because it was getting hacked, or go home and prevent a fucking fire. I chose the technology. This home is rebuildable, but Batman is a once-time deal thing. And there's Harvey Dent, the dickhead himself. He's happy with things. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. <laughs> Even if it means killing all of you, I'm fucking doing it. You're done, Gordon. Give up your badge and we'll let you live. Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police oh. Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and demanded his immediate resignation. In Batman, response, help me. Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... <laughs> Behind you! Be in here? Look, hey, you can't do this! Shut hey, up. let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. Now it's time to nail your face to the ground! Gordon! Woohoo! <gasps> Batman's here! Hey, buddy! And up we go! And the whooshy douche! Prepare to suck a dick! The bats have dicks? Well, this one's fucking you with it. And something's happening! Oh, shifting cue! In your fucking face! There you go! Sit the fuck down! Just in time, Batman! Ugh. Now your dead lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. I'm gonna fucking Dent stop him. He's a maniac, and he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. Yeah, don't let me get in your way. <laughs> I'm done trying to save Dent. He's a douche. The commissioner's still down there. Ugh. You could argue he's not well, he's not himself, he's got a split personality gone partially psycho, but I'm beyond caring. He sent me to Arkham sure Asylum. For this. I have to be. The who's... <laughs> ah, so the good oh guys are cops, the bad guys are not cops. And shift an E! Ah, Bushi! And Hadouken to your face! <laughs> and swoosh into the right! Oh! And smash your face into the wall? Not quite, uh, and yeah, you're going in the wall. Woo! Oh, on the corner as well. Fuck Gordon, a shotgun. The lobby, the commissioner. Close to the. Not much longer. His head would have exploded. Meanwhile, oh. wow. Well. Okay, oh. shoot out at city hall, maybe. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Batman power. No! We must save her because she once tried to save me. I can't remember. Hey! I'm surrounded. What's gonna happen now? We're gonna punch the ground? Oh! Smoke bombs! How clever. 
And you're about there, that'll do. Hadouken to your face. Do you want some Hadouken? It's coming your way. No, how about a Bushi? A bull! And a Bushi. You. And sit down. <laughs> it's... Oh, buddy! He was a dick to us before. Now he's taking the bullet for us. No! Batman angry. He's like, oh, fuck, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're going that bat. Really? What? I was doing the, the fucking buttons. Gordon got him anyway. Cumin, are you okay? Stop it. I'm working on it. Don't you be dying on me. You do not have the bat permission to die. Gordon, you've been promoted. Is he? God. Damn it! God no. damn it! Not you two. He gave his life to Gotham. I will avenge him! Believe yeah. me, Lieutenant. Dent will pay for this. If you don't take him down, I'll tear him apart myself. Yes, mate! This episode's all about Broken's bulls and vengeance. Fuck Family being man. the nice guy. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! Dear God! Hostages! And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says, he says, cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of there. Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide. I'm one of the hostages. Kelly! Damn it! Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. He's now Commissioner Gordon. He's killing hostages. Well, I've only got two members of staff. I got the, the computer guy and Alfred. And I'm sure they're down in the bat cave. Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the bat cave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit. You're a formidable... I'll distract him from the hostages. I'll get close and disarm him. I... Oh, fuck, no! I should be able to keep Harvey talking long enough to get close. I didn't have enough time! I'll make my move. I need more time! Your best chance. I'll be standing by if you need me. Standing by whilst barricaded in the back cave. And this, Harvey. Once and for all. And she into the darkness we fly. <laughs> Clang one year ago. Ah, oh, good times. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. A fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. And look Just, at you now. I know I can make the city better. If only I Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life. And I've never seen an official I can believe in. Tell you. Ah, oh, and now you're fucking backstabbing Thank me. Thank you, Bruce. I, I, I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is this election or next. We'll let the coin decide. Oh, he's in the coin even before he lost his face. Oh, <laughs> city of lights. <laughs> Lucky. But someone has to die. Are you volunteering, Deborah? No! Harvey! Wayne! Bean. About damn time! Put my earpiece in. He's got armed guards. That's cheating, damn it! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come my fucking house I throw you an arkham i've come to help you harvey please let everyone go and nothing i'm here to stop you harvey you've hurt too many people I'm gonna drop my balls this on the table to... <laughs> wait what am i saying friends i've tried to fight it bruce but i can't bruce i only ever wanted to help gotham and now you're gonna die look at me I can't stop him. Just put down the gun. You can fight it, Harvey! He's stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. 
until I slept with your girlfriend. <laughs> until what happened with Selena? Yeah, way to dig up memories I just repeated. Purge the people like you. All of you. Oh no, no, no. Terrorists. He's not one of my guys. Cops who don't take their mayor's oh. orders. Let me don't. This is the only way to clean up this cesspool. Don't. It's gonna be tails. Yeah, that was Tails. Oh, buddy. No, please! I don't remember you. This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go, get away! That's one saved. Go, man, go! I would let them all go, but... It's not up to me. Oh, who the fuck was that? Deborah, my not-so-faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear I... Bring all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life is... Uh, even that my... coin rules you. You're weak, Harvey. Letting a coin make your decisions. It's not weakness, Wayne. It's strength. To accept there's something bigger than me. Oh, gravity? Bigger than any of us. Momentum? Oh. Good day, Deborah. Yeah, heads are good. Goodbye, Deborah. You can still work for me. Oh, there's a drone. Yes, man! Go, Brucey, baby, go! Time for a Brucey bonus. Stay back! Oh, God, please don't. I don't know you. No more. No more. I'm just getting started. Well, I'm gonna end this. this. The only way to kill me instead. Uh, this isn't you. Harvey, no, this is not who you are. You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, I wanted so much for this city, Bruce, but I failed. We were good friends once, Bruce. No, no. I'm glad you're here. At the end. <gasps> Maybe What's you it? can remember me the way I was before. Yes, mate! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh, oh. Uh, the coin's mine, baby! Ha 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 ha! Oh. Bruce, I need... I need the result! Ah. Wait, oh. Drop the damn coin! Fucking hell. Without the coin, I can't... Pocket the coin. Make your own call. Bruce... Please, I don't... My weakness! I don't know it's... Oh, I'm deactivated! I oh! It's too much. It's too much, I can't... A safer Gotham, Harvey. Oh, God. I need my coin. Just like you want it. Wow. Defeated by a coin. What were the odds on that? Hey, hey, hey. 50-50? Oh, who knows? Oh. Yeah, one of your boys died, but he's alive. Don't kill him. Go it's all over for me. You should have let me pull the trigger. Done me and all of Gotham a favor. I need to face justice. What I deserve. You did a lot of terrible things, Harvey. And now you have to face justice. You don't understand, Bruce. He doesn't care. There is no justice for him. There is only Zool. So, that's him out the way. The rest of the episode will be just facing Lady Arkham. I guess. Harvey Dent. I put a dent in crime. That's my slogan. I, I owe you so much. Get the fuck out of my house. You're a hero. And I'm going to make sure all of Gotham knows it. Oh, buddy. You should be rotting in Arkham. Fuck you. Swooshy. <laughs> Oh, the cops are on my side! Yes, mate! Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you! Bomb. Everything you love will burn! Grenade? Bomb? No, okay. Everybody stand down, it's not a bomb! And that's the introduction! Batman, the Telltale series! Later, at the Batcave! Telltale stories by people. Can anyone stop Lady Arkham? No one has ever seen the Children of Arkham, or something. 
Your usual tea, and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. <laughs> I'm gonna want this Thanks back later. Him. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. He's not so sure Bruce, about that. These last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. The whole Based city got fucked. Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Apart from you, Alfred, I can always rely on you to bring me the best tea of your personal supplies. I don't need friends. Only you. Not everyone is like my father or Oswald. And what Harvey became, it wasn't by choice. I wanted the top one that says I, I got him. And you. Of course, my puppy dog eyes. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it. If I'd done something all those years ago, this... This is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her. If I'd stopped Thomas. None of these horrors would have occurred. All that matters is fixing it. I wish you had. You're not... It's not your you fault, my man. Harvey. It's fine. I don't it's fine. For what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I'm gonna remember that. Good pep talk, man. Let's go! Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. He's happy. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale... Check his browser history! ...we able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Okay, now they bit where I get to play the game. Let's access your this. Administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Yes, See man! What Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Oh. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Well, here at Cobblepot Enterprises, we love penguins, financial reports, real estate and surveillance. Oh, recently modified things. Okay. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... <gasps> Dear God! Hold on. Uh, hold on, you want to something, my man? Security! We have a bonus file. Let's click on it. We have here. They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. I'm guessing before I click anything that she's gonna basically open all the safety locks at Arkham Asylum Releasing the crazies upon the city at hand at the same time. I don't know. So uh records Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network uh, Victoria Vale Oh Mention of her birth name Victoria Arkham is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Bucks long walks on the beach. Something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bat computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Her favorite color, perhaps. What did he change about me? Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in 
sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. <laughs> Annoying, but not hard to fix. Right, you are, Ted. Carry on. Oh, that's better. Oswald Cobblepot. No surprise here. Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge. Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Let's back this bad boy up. We have real estate and... F okay, places. Oswald was... Was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was okay. to call it Falcone Island. <laughs> I like that. Got a ring to it. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Um, we've already done records. Financial. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. <laughs> also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. And to buy boats. Uh, we, we're done. So we're done. We're done. Done. We're done. So, Lady Arkham, let's have a look at your files. I'm stand up for this one, it's important stuff. Vicky to the bat table! Mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette. And not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. So let's have a look at some things. Let's look at this. That's her face. It fits into the mask Vicky perfectly. Vicky this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear, not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Okay, well let's like have a look at her chest. Boops. Children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Well, there's a lot of good in the background of that. It's just it's been misappropriated in this case. Okay. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. We've already seen what he was up to. Let's have another look again. Now that we know how Oswald <laughs> manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... Fill in the gaps. No more holes. Let's have a look and see what the patient files say. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Well, that's a good cause. That's some good journalism right there. Good for her. Uh, Vicky Vale and Wayne Tech. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. Yay! We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. <laughs> it's Cat Lady! She stole from you? Borrowed. We opened our doors to her. 
After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce. You dirty old man! Get down! Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? She's... That selfish? Maybe she's just messing with me. Some kind of joke. She broke into your office and stole valuable property? As a joke? Does sound like it, to be honest. An unusual sense of humor. Yeah! See? We know her! We're like thick as thieves! Cat thieves! <laughs> it's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. I'm surprised there's not like a remote kill switch on that bike, because it's using Wayne Tech. We could just disable its engine or something. Eh? Later, on the highway, we're in hot pursuit of the cat lady. She's making some distance, but nothing can stop the Batman, for he is ahead of the curve. <sighs> Damn, Damn it. it. <sighs> hey, Bruce. Brucey baby. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. <laughs> but I know you're not here for me. Are you? <gasps> I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham. But the less noble options are so much more... Fun. Exciting. Uh. Why should I give it back? That is mine. So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. Wow. That's pretty dramatic, Bruce. That's what I do. I'm Bruce fucking Wayne. AKA Batman. Defender of the people. Catch. Now. Cheers. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. That's a smart move right there. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Oh. Your friend Harvey. Oh. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. Damn it! After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. You saying you were just playing me? Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. I definitely That's put my penis inside started. of you. Oh, here we go. And now it's over. Oh. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful. With those skills of yours. Let's go to New York City. I hear they're recruiting a superhero team. But think of the fun. Someday, yeah. Maybe I will be able to leave Gotham. But for now, I am the only one who can save this city. She doesn't want to hear so it. So humble. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Selena, I would never hurt you. Bruce, I... That's really sweet. <laughs> but it brings us to the root of our problem, doesn't it? Oh, she's You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? It meant something to me! <laughs> I had fun! Yeah, you know, this one. Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Just stop the show, Selena. 
Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't, it wasn't terrible. terrible. <laughs> but you were just another job. A more... Intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And every job has a client. I'm done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? Because I believe in you! My feeling's pretty good. We make a good team. Why you saved my life because I love you. Because I love you, Selena. You... You barely know me. Even still, I know it's yes. true. If that's your idea of love, I feel sorry for you. I think that was the wrong answer. Fuck! Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. Try triple dot the ass? No. I'll see you around. No, you won't. I should have said because you saved my life. Lucius, I've got the key. She's gone. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I- Bruce! Lady Arkham, she's here. I, I tried to keep them out, but- Alfred? Alfred! God damn it, Alfred! Alfred! Back at the Wayne Manor. My furniture is gone. Dear God, not the office. They kicked down the locks. They smashed up the place. It's gonna take Alfred weeks to repair this damage. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. An arrow Get in the wall. here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. A, a pitchfork in the wall? Focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? I don't know, I would say, somebody came in and fucked up the place and inserted a fire poker into the wall. Alfred probably struggled, but being the old man he is, he couldn't do dick. How the hell... With great force and trajectory. Look at this. Oh, there's an explosion on the ground. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. The black powder on the floor being that point. Over here, look at this. Look at this. Look at the scuff mark on the floor. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Something scuffing, obviously. There's blood on the mantle. Dear God! What did they do to you, Alfred? They hurt him. The fireplace. Gosh, everywhere. I think they they, oh, they dropped something down the, the chimney. It caused an explosion which pushed out everything. And that's why the fire poker is in the wall. And the ash is because they came through and they trod ash in. I need to look at everything before I can piece it together. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. It wasn't a fight, it was more of an exothermic reaction caused by compositions exploding in. Something I don't know. big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Uh, the, the big guy from the asylum! Oh, my father. Okay, let's begin to piece this puzzle together, said the fireplace. We're gonna link that bad boy up with the fire poker in the wall. Can I get a link too? Bye bye! I could grab the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Really? Well, that seems to be correct, but that's not kind of how I envisioned it. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The broken shelf. Can I link this to anything? Anything at all? It's just scanning the area. Uh, the scuff. No. Screw that. No, no. Wrong button! Let's link the scuff mark to... Oh, really? I can't link dick. One of these, it's not gonna work. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Oh, what do you know? And that pierces him down at the floor in time for the fireplace. So she came in, he went bushy onto the ground, he threw that up, so something else happened. Uh, blood spatters. 
and there's blood on the, the mantle. They will link together. Oh, and the stuff down there. The pool cue. Damn it. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Somebody got bitch slapped with the with the pool cue. Can I link it to the fireplace? No, I can't. But there's a cue down here. Let's examine that and see what I can see. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Like a high velocity hit, might you say? So let, let's link that bad boy to this bad boy. Give it a link. Bushy! Yes, mate! Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. Yes. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying Ooh. blood across the pool table. Alfred, you beast! I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself, but Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. No! I should have been there to look after him. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Let's take a look at the picture and see what we can see. As a note on the back side. Got a phone number on it. But uh, did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. The butler did it. The butler did it. Is maybe he's not the real mastermind behind all this, is he? Off of him, you bitch! Alfred. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, God. Uh, we have work to do. This is my fault. Vicky will pay for this. I'll make sure of that. It's gonna get down to business. Look at what she's doing to him. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Let's slowly discuss about getting to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. He's a clever bastard! He knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. As the glasses change angle, it's reflecting, basically scanning the whole room. So, bad cowl, get on my face. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. All right. So we've got um, Child of Arkham, a camera, and stairs. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, well, this is not what VR kind of looks like, but whatever. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Are they, are they in the Gazette's basement, then? He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Coming up next! They've moved positions ever so slightly. There's some boxes. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. And on the left-hand side, there's a water! Ooh. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. What, are you gonna try and take this? See here. 
Moving on. You can take the serial numbers off that sticker to try to get the location of the. Oh, hi, Lady Arkham. That kind of spooked me a little bit there. Lady Arkham. Crazy bitch. Keep searching. Keep searching, damn it. There's a, a mason stamp. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Coming up next in the bombardment of Alfred, there's a window sticker. A basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. There Enhancing. Oh, stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. To the bat computer! Uh, so use the reticle to select filters and then press to apply. So we have a bus stop. The bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Yeah, shit fucking well. So buildings that are built within the year range. All homes built on that date. This is clever how you can use bits of information to paint a big picture. Uh, so buildings or basements. So we've got just one last, repair locks. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Oh, so I've got a selection. Oh, well, let's have a look at all of them, come on. A corner store. Seems unlikely. It does seem unlikely. What about this one? Bowling alley. <sighs> Damn it. Let's keep looking. So it couldn't be a bowling alley, but this. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. You got me a new toy! Oh my god, it's just my favorite color! Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. It's the bat suit, Mark II! Let's equip that bad boy! Oosh! Well You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. See, if we didn't recruit Lucius and he stayed at um, the place, Wayne Enterprises, we probably wouldn't this have this suit. Tonight. So, what makes it so good? Crime scene. I'm Batman. It's fine. Yeah, be be stealthy and subtle. Big ass bats. Heading shadow. Be careful. Oh, it's quite spooky. Oh, oh, run, 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 run. Oh! Batman. I'm all right. There's a fire alarm behind you. I don't quite trust it. There's another trap. There's going to be more traps. There's always more than one trap. They're gone. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. Oh, it makes me mad. See what I can find. Standing by. I'm going to see what I can smash up. Right, the blood splatter. Let's scan that blood splatter. Warm. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. There's another fire alarm here. That's two fire alarms in quick succession. That's a bit strange this to me. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. We're not done, are we? That's just... Oh, and the blood on the floor. Oh, the, the, is there a secret door there? Yeah, there is. Look at the way the blood goes under the wall. Alfred. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Kick the Take wall down! Look. Just... Let's look at the wall. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? Because they're hiding something, clever kick. Right, uh, personal kick. We're gonna kick the shit into it. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. Hadouken! Buckets. Fucking illegal small buckets. Room. It's not so small, it's got a, a sub-sub-basement. With a hole in the floor. 
And a rope ladder. Let's have a look at this. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Maybe Alfred's down there. Let's just fucking get down to it. Just, let's, oh, enter. Enter the hole. Rope ladder. I don't need a rope ladder. Whoa, there's drawings on the wall. Somebody was kept here for a long time. A very long time. The belts! Because the father would beat her, perhaps! Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky, she was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? Why she killed the veils. To willfully hurt a child. It's why she killed the veils. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The veils' foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. The toy on the floor! I think it's got a camera in its eye. Spooky toy, definitely, and... Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Oh, says so prototype mask. Her drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. She's still drawing? There's gonna be another secret door, isn't there? Bloody scratches, fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. If it wasn't Alfred, then- Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. Okay, and the belts. Can I see? I notice there's one missing. The belt. It's caked in blood. So what does this mean? Oh, there's stuff. There's loads of stuff. Alfred laid down here. Alfred's glasses. Oh, they're broken as well. Poor guy. Alfred's glasses. What'd you put them back for? Take them with you, he may need them. And some smokes. One piece apart from the others. Blue. Blue. The same color as my tag. <laughs> coincidence. It can be a coincidence. Oh, look at the drawings. Figures fleeing from something. Is that Arkham Asylum? So he drew in blue, and so I'm seeing only the blue stuff. There's a drawing there. Yeah, I see that. Link the drawing. Some of the words have been highlighted. She will liberate. She's going to liberate Arkham Asylum. Is it not obvious at this point? Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. The newest chalk. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates. Like they're running away. The words highlighted are, she will and liberate. She will liberate? I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum. Well done, the penny has dropped. Release the inmates. And she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. 
No, you won't, because I'm pretty sure there's something inside that teddy bear, because look at it, it looks fucking evil. Later, at Arkham Asylum, we're gonna take the fight to the front gates themselves. Excuse me, have you seen a crazy lady come here? Oh, the car, it's the Batmobile, don't be stunned. Oh, the Puppet Man. I like Puppet Man. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. What about Joker? Joker's in here still. We're definitely going to see Joker again. We couldn't return to Arkham and then not be a Joker. And Joker knew Lady Arkham. And will she? The legacy unlocked. Batman. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another course. His death won't solve anything. No one's dying tonight. Alfred is innocent. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course he's a part of this. He's the one man Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Besides himself. His suffering will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from him? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much. I know you experience pain. Now. I'd like I'd want justice too. I've been to your home. I've seen where the veils kept you. People like them. They deserve to be behind bars. Behind bars? They deserve <laughs> And got far worse than that. Even if they did, no one else needs to die. You're wrong! You're wrong! Run out! Wait, 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 wait! And in the face! Oh! That was a mistake! And he's off. She's off. Run! Quick time events incoming, no doubt. There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Don't do it! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. He's stuck me in here! Oh fuck. Let me out. He's the crazy one. Okay, time to fight my way through it. Quick time events and on the floor. Bushy! Well that was very easy. Lady Arkham, get your bitch ass back here. Uh quick time events and up we go! Into the ceiling. Oh, over the top. Kick that door down. Orderlies, keep your shit together. I will help you! With the power of E, I kick face. Your face. I kick face your face. So the shift Q power, you slamming into that guy. How's it going, orderly? Do I recognize any of you? Were you dicks to me earlier? Oh, look that way. The Batman is gone. Charging full steam ahead. There's a big old brawl going on. Not the lady doctor, she was nice to me. Oh, buddy! And where's Joker at? He was not. He would not be missing a party like this. You're not getting away, Vicky. Gonna analyze the situation. Oh, the taser. Oh no no no! Link that to. Oh, we're gonna throw him into the light. Oh, I can swing on it. That's a much nicer thing to do. And to get past here, we're going to link the kitchen to this guy because there isn't many other options. 
Can I throw him onto the fire? And, yep, kicking him into the fucking fire. That's quite gruesome. Let's continue. Uh, the chair. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smash down this inmate in the back of the head. Link it, smashing it, loving it. And Hadouken! Okay, didn't really see what happened. Okay, the taser. Uh, going to make him tase himself? That would be fun. I charge in, take a hand of the situation, and... Oh, am I going to slam him into the wall? Oh, and then Lady Arkham's there. So link that to the light fixture. If I can knock that down, knock her out. Yeah! Bat disc! Cut that bad boy down. Got this covered. Let's see this happen! Oh, i got to fucking do it as well. Bushy! And a Bushy! Got it! Fucking get out of my way. You want a fucking chair? Have a seat! <laughs> Um, shocking news, you're dead. And she's off. But wait, we're not quite done. And up in the air like you just don't care. Take that bye bye down. And super power kick. Oh, she's one step ahead. But not too quick for me, because I'm fucking Batman. Shift the knee in your face! Yes, mate! <laughs> Hi. You've had it. Oh. Take your time, sons. That's the plan. Um, I'm gonna just move out the way, if you don't mind. <laughs> Shift an E in your face. She said take your time, not have double knives. But it's fine. I can dodge all of this shit because I'm Batman. I can see things in slow motion. You can't do this because you're not human. And what we're we doing? Oh, slamming! My man! Inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. <laughs> Is he gonna help me? The GCPD are here just in time. Joker's like, I'm not involved in this. I'm just having a drink. We've got the inmates. Lock it down! And I'm off. At the start again, that cop was always trying to arrest me. Didn't trust me. That's a good door you had there. But now she's on my team. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now. But I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. Who didn't see that coming? She's coming with me. It's cool. I'm always falling for crazy chicks. Oh, she has hover boots. Does Iron Man know a way? A second, where did you go? Even Iron Man hasn't got stealth tech like that. Vicky! Arkham Asylum has a crypt? <laughs> You're sick, Vicky. You need help. You've already lost. Show yourself. Vicky! Show yourself! <laughs> I'm hurt, apparently. Let him go! The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wilson. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. I am Bruce Wayne, you- If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne, but first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. I keep stressing that he's called Pennyworth. He's not just one old man, he's my cotton bird, my my grey Ah! Shift the cube! Yes! I can compute Oh, there's a syringe. Vicky, stop playing. Games. I'd forgotten about the truth serum. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? 
done great things for Gotham. Sure you have. You deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? There's a better we way. We are nothing alike, Vicky. I fight to save lives. You're a cold-blooded killer. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Swan? He hides behind his status and wealth. No, he, he doesn't! Coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You are my- Yeah, I hear it. Uh, oh shit. Oh, that would have been a, a tight situation to be in. <laughs> my puns need to get way better. <sighs> Around the corner. Found you. Hi, baby. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? I need to become who you really are. It's to scare people. It's the face of are justice. The, the mask is the a symbol. The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. Yeah. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. I don't think so, Lady Arkham. Prepare to suck a dick. Quick time events. Whoa, she! Down we go. Not a problem. I'm getting a lot better on these. The chase gets underway and comes to a grinding halt. Oh, look, it's a hidden temple underneath Arkham Asylum with a lovely statue of a light behind it. Somebody must have been maintaining this, but who? A science lab. Alfred! Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... you... you came... you came for me. Of course! Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! Quick time event, swoosh! Oh, she fast, but not fast enough. Oh God, not Alfred. Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <sighs> Such concern for someone you've never met. What is it? We can talk. I won't show mercy to you. It's called compassion. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh, no! Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Take off the mask. Oh. Take off your mask. That will blow his head off. Let me see the man you really are. Oh, come on! If that's what it will take to save you. No! Dear God! I'm Bruce fucking Wayne, bitch! No! Prepare to die! This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the world, <laughs> defenseless, just like your father did. A true way. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. Stop blaming others. Stop blaming other people for your problems. You aren't the only one who suffered. You really think you can preach to me? You, of all people? Enough. Ready, ready. <laughs> no! <laughs> Put the back cow back on. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Shift it in your face. That was a superhero slide if I ever saw one. 
No more lies. No more talk. The only truth left is in your death. Prepare to die. Really? Oh, wow. She's smart. She's outfoxed me here. Clash of the Titans. Cue in your face. Take out your kneecaps. And now, say goodnight. Wow, whoosh! Where's this going? <laughs> I'll bury you. Good idea, but after you. Oh, I'm taking your stick. It's my fucking stick, I saw it first. Uh-oh. That, that pillar is gonna fall on her. Out of the way. It's gonna go! Alfred, get ready to move! Oh, this is good, this is good. We're bringing down the roof, baby. Oh, her Iron Man jet boots. I didn't see it coming. A lot of swooshing in this one. Not so many Q's and E's and shifties, but plenty of swooshes. Oh, here we go. Ah, no. Yes. Woohoo! And again with the shifty, I was just moaning about them, and there they are. It really breaks me to see you crumble to pieces, so... Stop, Vicky. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. Swooshy! And another swooshy. Can we triple time this swooshy? Come on, Batman. You can do better than this. A swooshy! And yet another column disposed of. Oh, yes, yes, grab her. Slam it. Oh, no. Okay, duck. You got this. Scooby. Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? Come on. Oh. <laughs> Shit, cute. I got this. She missed. I landed. You're going fucking down, and you're going to need a dentist. Oh, face first as well. It's coming down! We're gonna get buried, unless we get the fuck out of here. Again with the shift and E. Shift and Q. You belong in this place, Bruce. Lost. Forgotten. Buried. And Gotham will not... The stuff. The sins of the Wayne bloodline end here. That statue's gonna come down on top of you. Oh, go. Yeah! Woohoo! That was awesome. Oh, here come the boots. Boom! <laughs> oh, like fucking Antichrist. Some real n n near misses there with Alfred. Best remove him from the vicinity. So pick up your helmets. If you go out there, you're gonna get seen. She's alive, damn it! I see your true face. I'll never trust you. I don't care. Yeah, you're going nowhere. Oh! Crushed! Come on, let's slowly leave the area. Come on, Alfred. Don't swoop him off his feet or anything. No, let's just gently, like, push him in the direction we want him to go. A week later. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did 
sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. She took my secret the to the grave. you have worked so hard to maintain. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. Uh, you don't know how good it is to hear you say that. Oh, my little After cotton bud. everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> I'm sure we can rebuild it. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Gotham is safe for now. There will be more. I can't take all the credits. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped and those we lost. The real question is, it's been a week later. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Yes, mate! Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. We're gonna have to pick. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. I thought we were family a second ago. Just doing my job. That's a lot to live up to, you know. It's a lot to live up to, you know. I won't let you down, Alfred. I know you won't. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, this room's still a fucking mess. It's been a whole week. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. <sighs> Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. I don't know! Going as Bruce Wayne, all that does, that's a selfish move to be honest, because all that does is something for me. It puts my family's legacy back in good picture. Maybe not the legacy of the family, but it says that me, Bruce Wayne, is a good inv individual that you can get behind. It doesn't really do anything to further the safety of the city. It just means people like me more, maybe. I don't know, Wayne Enterprises might make a bit more money. Get some of that Wayne tech and all those fancy landmark buildings. However, if I go as Batman, that's a symbol that... Gordon! Commissioner Gordon! What a guy, what a, what a champion man. He's gonna look after the city. And if he thinks Batman is good, then you think Batman is good. Maybe the people could get behind the, the symbol of Batman and he can become that beacon of hope and faith that is always claiming to be for the city. So I'm going to go as Batman for that very reason. Batman will be in attendance. Yes! Quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. This will also show to the cops We're that they can trust him. Newly appointed acting police commissioner James Gordon, who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> it sounds awesome. Batman! 
Hey, buddy. Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? It's an important day. Your first address to the city as acting commissioner. I wanted you to know that I stand with you. I want Gotham to know that there are those who will fight for them. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. City's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. Except for Bruce Wayne. I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? I'll be watching over Gotham. Maybe Batman supports. Like to be seen they are lucky to have you. Tell them I'll always be watching out for them. I'm sure they'll appreciate hearing that. Out of your mouth, not mine. You know, I always wanted this. To be commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this. <laughs> what a dick! I'm here to support you. Wait, you're having a heartfelt moment? I'm out of here. Used to that by now. <laughs> You know, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. He wanted me to tell you all that he'll be watching, ensuring the safety of our good citizens. But one hero cannot change Gotham on his own. He needs all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United, strong, and hopeful. That was Joker, I think. No? And here he is, just in time. Oh, will she? Oh, it's not, it's not Joker. I thought Joker dyed his hair and whatever. What the fuck's going on? Clear the area! Get that bastard to lock up! I stand with you, Gordon! A new day in Gotham. Just minutes ago, Acting Commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to top that! But I'll give it a shot. I knew it was Joker related! Yes, me! <laughs> Batman, it's Hotel Series! See, episode 5, City of Light. We've done it. We have completed the entire series. That was an amazing story. Hey, what did you do with Harvey's coin? Wow, what the fuck? A coin being a 50 50 toss itself has come up with a near enough a 50 50 average response. That's fucking crazy. Hey. Did you blame Alfred for his involvement with the Thomas Waynes? Me and 67.5% of players comfort, com comforted Alfred that he wasn't to blame. 28.1% of players told Alfred it didn't matter who was at fault or that Manus is fixing the problem. 2.3% of players blamed Alfred for not doing enough to stop the Waynes. 2.1% of players did not respond. Okay, I never had like a four-way response before. How did you respond to Selena? Me and 90.7% of the world... Um... Regarded Selena as more than a thief. Well, less than 10% of the people are assholes. Did you take off the cowl? Wow, I'm with the majority once again. Me and 72.3% of players removed our cowl to reveal the identity to Vicky. Did you attend Gordon's address as Bruce or Batman? Wow, I am shocked. Me and 37.8% of players showed up as Gordon addressed as Batman. So wait, what happened to the 62.2% of people that didn't go as Batman? Like, I guess maybe Bruce met Gordon in the alleyway and then changed into Batman to go overwatch the ceremony? Perhaps? Eh, anyway. And there are the results once again. Is this the end? Batman season overview. Click to see my performance? Analyzing my performance. I don't know what's going to happen now. I've not seen this before. Oh, cool! Your Batman, Bruce, was compassionate. The crusade to defeat Gotham is about helping people, being a beacon of hope in the dark world, to use one's strengths to lift people up instead of just beating villains down. Oh! That's cool! I'm 69% pragmatic? Oh no, I'm 69% compassionate. Brutal or merciful? I'm really happy that I got a 58% average. I'm still kind of in the middle there. Cunning and honest. 
I'm in the middle again. Collaborative or self-reliant. 70% is good. It shows that I, I'm really good at working with people, but I'm not dependent on it. If I needs to be, I can be independent, self-reliant. Continue. Follow Batman's adventures wherever comic books are sold. Okay, I'm going to leave it right there. Cool beans. I have really enjoyed this series. It's a really interesting story that had some real moments that really affected how we was going like, to progress. Most, the most standout landmark moment was definitely, do I go to Wayne Enterprises or do I go back to the home to the manor because it's being burnt down by Harvey Dent, the two-faced bastard. I'm very impressed. I've only done one Telltale game before this and I... I knew it was going to be fun. I just didn't realize how fun it was going to be. This is something we're definitely going to do again in the future. Way more. Way, way more. Um, the ending. Yeah, I guess it was a pretty cool ending. I mean, I thought Joker would have had a bigger role inside Arkham Asylum. It was very much a cameo appearance of him, but it's definitely laying down the foundation for a future Telltale series that will evolve around the Joker being the kingpin at, at, at large on the city. But how did he escape from Arkham? The, the report on the news said that they had rounded up all of the loose convicts and stuff. Although he was going, oh, that's why he wasn't getting involved because whilst when we were interned in Arkham, he had his um, appeal coming up. So he was playing Mr. Goody Two Shoes, not getting involved in any fighting. As Batman was chasing Eddie Arkham through, he wasn't getting involved. He's played the good card, he's got out free. Oh, cool! I like it when we're smart and we work things out. Right, leave me some comments down below of your thoughts and opinions. I love reading them. I will reply to as many as I possibly can. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody!